Hey beautiful people of the living God, this is a disclaimer. I'm just addressing the haters and the unwise people who come to my channel and write words without knowledge. Alright? So, I always tell you you could fast and pray and ask the Most High God anything you want to know. But I'm addressing this thing where, you know, a few people are asking me if I'm racist. Um, do you see what I teach? Or you just come to my channel to be a scoffer? I teach there's racism in the body of Christ. I teach that God is the God of all nations. All right? I speak against every nation God tells me to speak against. Righteousness is righteousness and unrighteousness is unrighteousness. If your nation is doing unrighteousness, I'll speak on it. If they do unrighteousness, I will speak on it. I will speak whatever God tells me to speak. This is not your worldly man's word. This is God's word I'm saying. I don't care about your opinion. You're coming and leaving comments of opinion. I come to you with the word of God. Let me teach you something. Since you're so unwise and you can't see it yourself. Um, when the children of Israel, those are black people, they ruled. And they were doing evil in the sight of the Most High God. What did he do? He put them in captivity. He judged them. He punished them. If you read through your Bibles, when the Assyrians did evil before the Most High God, he judged them. He punished them too. When other nations in the Bible did evil before the Most High God in different rulerships, Greece, he judged them. Okay, so right now, the, the children of Edom, which are white people, are ruling, and God is judging them. So I'm racist because I'm speaking about God judging them. Righteousness is righteousness, and unrighteousness is unrighteousness. So it's okay for me to talk about black people, the children of Israel, the children of Judah's unrighteousness, but it's not okay for me to talk about white people's unrighteousness. You sound so white supremacist, racist, don't come on my channel. Don't come here. It's not for you. I already told the people. Do I? Do you ever hear me say to like, share, and subscribe? No. I tell the people, this is for people with eyes to see and ears to hear and who have a relationship with God. What are you doing on my channel? You don't have no relationship with God because if you did, you would fast and pray on your knees to the Most High God and say, I went on this woman's channel. Is what she's saying is true? Then she says, oh, this thing about daughter Zion. Listen, even the Israelites are jealous of daughter Zion. You should fast and ask God. That's why they won't talk about it. They won't talk about it because they don't want a woman to rule. Don't you see misogynist men in this day and age today? Even then, the Israelites don't want a woman to rule. That's why the Israelites don't talk about daughter Zion. It's in Micah. It's all through the Bible. She's in Revelations 12 and 1. What, is my pro problem that you can't read with comprehension? It's not, is it my fault that you don't know right from wrong? Is it my, you're asking me if I'm a Mormon. The people who know who I am on my channel, they know I am not a part of any denomination. Just because people say they're Christian, are they good? Are they really walking in the ways of God? Those are titles. Just because people say they're Mormon, are they good? Those are titles. God gave his word and people wanted to call themselves whatever they called them. God said you're a child of God. He said you're his children. He's your father. So I'm not going off. I'm not in any part of religion. I'm a child of God. I hear God for myself. I see God's visions for myself. I fast and pray to, pray to God for myself. I'm not your pastor. I'm not your preacher. I know who I am with God. I know what I'm blessed with because I know who I am. You're coming on my channel and you don't even know your talents and your gifts. You don't even know <coughs> true what. You don't even know what God blessed you with. But you come on my channel, leaving your words without knowledge. I don't even tell you to like, share, or subscribe. Because I know what I'm saying is the truth. It's either you hear or you forbear. Life is about free will. I teach my people that. Deuteronomy 13 and 19. God placed before you life and death, a blessing and a curse. And he told you choose life. If you hear something and you're not wise enough to research and fast and pray and ask God for the answer, you'll never know the truth. Don't come to me with your words without knowledge. And don't come to me because you don't understand the difference between right and wrong. But if I'm racist, no. I love all nations of people. I love everybody. But guess what? There is a nation that's under judgment for their crimes. It's like you don't understand when I'm speaking. The daughter of Babylon is the one who's ruling that nation. The daughter of Zion is not of the same nation of the daughter of Babylon. Why don't you ask God? Why are you upset with me? The daughter of Zion is an Israelite. What... What am I saying wrong? You're coming with words without knowledge. Everything you say, you don't have a scripture to back up what you're saying. God is not even with you in your mouth. Please, don't come to me with your words without knowledge. 
I will rebuke you. I will rebuke you. I rebuke you right now. Because you're unwise and you're unlearned. You should get a and you should inquire of the Lord. I teach that. You don't have to believe anything I'm saying. I don't care. I know who I am and I know who I am with God. Who are you? Who are you? Some of you don't even know who you are. Words without knowledge you type in. Keep your vain words to yourself. The next time you feel like you need to type a comment to me, go on your hands and knees and ask God for the answer. Take care, unwise people.